Hey y'all, it's Josh Todd here. Um, today we're gonna be working on some uh, grain transfers into uh, substrate bags. Uh, I use uh, rye berries for the uh, grains and I'm working on a shiitake right now. Uh, my substrate bags, I pretty much use a master's mix, uh, a little bit different. Um, I can't find the uh, soybean holes, so I use the uh, uh, soybean milled or the milled soybean. Um, and I use a 10 to one ratio with the hardwood fuel pellets. 100% oak, uh, no oils, no flavors, and no additives, and um, a little bit of gypsum. So, and of course, you know, PSI to, um, I mean, pressure cook, 15 PSI, two and a half hours. And that uh, puts us to where I'm at now. And we're gonna start working in my steel air box. You see the grain and my bag, and I've got to glove up and then we'll get started. You want to make sure that you get all of it. Sometimes it's hard to uh, get it on your first try. And you want to work as quickly but as slowly as possible if that makes any sense. Because your movement can bring in outside air and the still air box. And just a tad bit more. I'm using the whole jar here. Sometimes I use half a jar per bag, but I got a lot, uh, a lot of this uh, shiitake. So I'm gonna use the full jar. And then I couple it up the top. Gotta to make sure that the air filter is visible. So you have airflow for the uh, colonization period. Take your zip tie and run around it. Make sure you leave your air filter and close it up. Get your hands out. And there it is. And then you would just repeat the process uh, for your other bags, which I've got several here that I'm going to do. And take out the bag. And now you can see the grain is in there. And then I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And um, shiitake takes quite a few months. Um, this is my first run on shiitakes. So I've been told about, you know, two or three months. So have patience. And magic happens. Bye, y'all.